Kirkburton branch line. The line was originally intended to be a through route to Barnsley and the coal fields. Kirkburton was as far as it ever went. The Act of Parliament authorising the construction of the branch line from Uddersfield to Kirkburton was passed on the 28th of July 1863, 16 years after the railway came to Uddersfield. The first sod of the Kirkburton branch was cut at Deaton, near to the junction with the main line, on the 10th of March 1865. Almost two years later, and construction was to last for two years and seven months. The work included two viaducts, 21 bridges. The first viaduct appeared shortly after leaving the junction at Deaton, and was known as the Whittaker Mill Viaduct. It was built on a curve. It has seven arches, each having a span of 94 feet. between Fenny Bridge and Kerberton are six arches, each having a 42 foot span. The line was constructed as a single track, although sufficient land was taken to make it a double, which was the intention if the track had been extended to Barnsley, as was the original master plan. On the 15th of February 1866, a major setback occurred with the collapse of two of the seven arches under construction of the Whittaker Mill Viaduct at Dean. The collapse of the viaduct occurred about 2am on a Tuesday morning and the crash could be heard for some distance. The total cost occurred of this was around about £1,000. After the unfortunate accident with the viaduct, work appears to have progressed on the line in a satisfactory way and was completed in February 1867. However, the opening was delayed for more than seven more months to allow for the construction of the three stations. The line was officially opened on Monday 7th of October 1867, the first train leaving Uddersfield at 7 a.m. branch itself was four and a half miles long, leaving the main Uddersfield to Leeds line at Whittaker Mill Junction, where the current Deaton station is today, about two miles from Uddersfield. The line crossed Leeds Road by means of a girder bridge and continued over the canal and the river cone by the already mentioned Whittaker viaduct. Several other bridges were passed before reaching the first station on the line at the time at Kirk Eaton. A neat little wooden station was provided at Kirk Eden. In the Victorian world, there was a sense that as technology becomes more advanced, the world appears to shrink. This epitomises the railways for Lepton, a journey to town which used to take about an hour to walk, now becomes a matter of minutes through train travel. This provides a sense of shrinking world, as it would no longer take the whole day to complete errands, having to walk or using your horse and cart for the journey but instead it took only a few hours due to faster, easier access transport. This shrinking well was shocking to the Victorians. The railways created a reduction of space through speed of movement. The next notable bridge was over Wakefield Road, near the Tandem Inn which spanned a distance of 94 and a half feet. Further on, a bridge was constructed near the home of Abraham Brealey, a famous owner of cotton spinning mills. The next place of note was the celebrated Spa Well, just prior to Fenny Bridge Station, where a double bridge was constructed, one arch crossing the road and the other the well. Immediately following this was Fenny Bridge, where again a neat station had been erected, opposite the mills on Messrs. Riley and Dunn.
Approaching Kirk Burn was a viaduct at Dogley to the rear of Messrs Kenyon's premises and over the Milgoyton Valley. Further along was the terminus of the branch was reached, having travelled through what was then, and still remains, a picturesque piece of landscape scenery. The goods warehouses were not complete at the time of the opening for passenger traffic, and goods traffic commenced on New Year's Day 1868. Deaton Station was added on 30th of August 1871 which in its early days was a single platform station like the other three stations on the branch. In the early days of the branch, there were nine trains each way Monday to Friday, with an extra market train on Saturday. Journey times averaged 18 minutes from Kirk from Uddersfield to Kirk Burton and 20 minutes in the reverse direction. Passenger traffic was initially very good, but in 1890 saw the beginning what was a steady decline. On 20th September of that year saw the steam tram service extended to Waterloo, which creamed off much of the potential traffic from Kirk Eaton Station. Distance by road was a third of the distance by train, although tra train journeys were still shorter. On 1st of September 1897, Fennybridge Station was renamed Fennybridge and Lepton. Traffic on the line suffered yet further decline with the electrification of the tram route between Uddersfield and Waterloo on 15th of May 1902. 1903 saw connection to the bra of the, from the branch to Elliot Brickworks between Fennybridge and Kirk Eaton stations, although the sidings were never used for distribution of bricks but were used for coal deliveries. The area around Fennybridge, Lepton and Garthorpe boasted as many as six factories which it during World War I produced explosives. Throughout the period of the Great War, around 4 million hand grenades were dispatched from Fennybridge Station each year. It was also during World War I that British dyes, later to become ICI, started producing chemicals at the site alongside the line, and a railway was provided direct from to the branch in 1915. There was also an unofficial halt here for special trains carrying workers from Kirk Burton. It was not used by the workers from Uddersfield however as they used the trams. Around this time an additional platform was added to Deaton Station. Branch closed to passengers on Saturday 26th of July 1930, the official reason being that the advantage gained by buses due to the large loop at the beginning of the journey, however a further drawback had been that the station was situated at the bottom of the valleys whereas the villages were served were well up the hill slopes. In spite of losing its passenger services at a comparatively early date, the branch remained open for goods traffic for a further 35 years and a short, short section remained open for a further 6 years beyond that to serve ICI. In 1937 a 20 mile an hour speed limit was imposed. All through close to regular passenger services, the branch continued to be used for goods traffic and occasionally for passengers for special excursions and special trains. With the increasing competition goods traffic, of goods traffic, it declined until the 5th of April 1965, goods facilities were removed from all the stations and track lifted the following year. The last remaining section of the branch from Whittaker Junction through the remains of Deaton Station over Whittaker Mill Viaduct to the ICI Works, a distance of one mile, continued to provide a rail connection to ICI sidings. Closure. 